Hi, I am Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about the Chicago Bears. And things did not go as planned for the Bears in 2019 after a very promising season the year before. Of course, everyone wants to blame the quarterback position, and clearly that influenced the decline without question. But there's more to it than just Mitchell Trubisky, too. And I, Although I don't think adding just adding Nick Foles, especially when Cam Newton and even Jameis Winston was readily available, it will solve that quarterback issue. I, can, I think it will continue to be a problem for Chicago. But after finishing Coach Matt Nagy's first season with the ninth highest scoring average in the NFL, the Bears' 8.8 drop-off in scoring offense from 2018 to 2019 – was the largest by any team, almost nine points a game. Not only that, but the Bears were plus 17 in sack differential in 2018 and fell all the way to minus 13 last year, a massive 30 sack swing in the wrong direction. On a yards per play basis last year, the, the Bears offense was one of the league worst, of course, and the Bears defense was one of the league's best, even though the Chicago Bears faced a brutal slate of offenses. This holds true for the offense on first and third downs as well, where they were quite poor. The defense does have a hole or two, but overall, this should be an excellent group. And in terms of get, and in terms of getting the opposing quarterbacks, Chicago massively upgraded from Leonard Floyd to Robert Quinn as the edge player opposite the great Khalil Mack. And Mack very well could still be the best edge player in all of football. Outside of Allen Robinson, though. Not really one of the most underrated great players in all of football. Chicago's offense has way more questions than answers, and the Bears' offensive line is also quite problematic, and it doesn't seem like enough people are talking about that. Fortunately for Chicago, though, they do play in what I see as a very weak division and are scheduled to face an easy slate of opponents. But overall, this doesn't look like a contending team to me, but rather one that will be very much in the thick of the quarterback market next offseason possibly even very early in the draft. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yard Barker.